Thank you for joining us on Synthesis Workshop. On today's Research Spotlight episode, I'm very excited to have with us Saswata Gupta. Saswata got his bachelor's degree in chemistry with honors from Presidency College in the University of Calcutta in India. Afterwards, he obtained a master's degree from IIT Kharagpur, where he worked on the asymmetric synthesis of small carbocycles and heterocycles under the supervision of Professor Samit Nanda. He then came to the University of Illinois at Chicago, where he's been doing his PhD and the group of Professor Desang Lee. And from there, I'll hand the floor over to you, Saswada. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Matt, for the kind introduction, and thanks everyone for watching this episode of Synthesis Workshop. It's my great pleasure to share with you a part of my PhD research work entitled Ruthena Benzene, a robust precatalyst. Let us look at some of the background concepts. First, enine metathesis, which involves a metathesis reaction between an alkene and an alkyne, leading to the formation of 1,3-dienes, and this reaction is catalyzed by ruthenium alkylidine carbene complex. If we assume the tether length to be zero, we can define a related concept called metallotropic shift. In case of metallotropic shift, the ruthenium alkylidine carbene is seen to propagate over the alkyne chain and this phenomena is mechanistically related to that of enine metathesis. The concept of metathesis and metallotropy had been frequently applied in organic synthesis, including total synthesis of several natural products, including panaxitriol. Let us look at some of the standard ruthenium alkylidine based metathesis catalysts. This involves Graf's first and second generation catalyst, or the Graf's third generation catalyst, which is used for the ring opening metathesis polymerization reaction. There can be oxygen chelated ruthenium alkylides like the Graves Hoveda complexes. On the other hand, the alkene and the alkyne chelated ruthenium alkylides are quite rare and sporadically reported in literature. The first report was by Snapper and co workers when they isolated this trans alkene chelate while studying the ring opening metathesis reaction. In 2001, Graves and co workers discovered the eta 3 vinyl alkylidine complex. More recently, Choi and co-worker discovered a trans 1,5 alkene chelate while studying the enine metathesis reactions of dienes. Lee and co-workers isolated this trans alkyne chelate while studying the metathesis and metallotropy of trienes. Another very interesting class of organometallic compounds involves the metallabenzenes. Metallobenzenes are a class of compounds in which one or more transition metals occupy the benzene ring. The first report was by Roper and co-workers when they isolated the Osma benzene. While studying the alkyne polymerization reactions, Schrock detected a transient tungsten benzene. After that, various groups discovered different stable metallobenzene compound based on iridium, platinum or ruthenium. Although there have been significant development in the synthesis of metallobenzenes, their purpose is mostly restricted towards the structural and theoretical interest and their catalytic activity is quite limited. The Graves first and second generation complex along with the graves Hoveta complex are standard catalysts for olefin metathesis. If we look at the structure of the graves Hoveta complex, it can be called as an isolable ruthenium of benzofuran. Replacing this oxygen with a carbon-carbon double bond, we can end with a ruthena benzene catalyst, which is an isolable ruthenium of an aphthalene or a benzene. Retrosynthetically, this ruthena benzene complex can be accessed from the cis alkyne chelate, which is in equilibrium with the trans alkyne chelate, which can in turn be accessed by metathesis and metatropic shift of a triene. Our previous study indicated that when we have a triene containing a terminal alkyne on treatment with a stoichiometric graphs second generation complex leads to the formation of a trans alkyne chelate. The selectivity, however, depends on some structural features like the presence of a six-membered ring and a gem dimethyl group. When a five-membered ring is present, then a metathesis byproduct is formed in a mixture of varying ratio depending on reaction time. At this juncture, we hypothesize that when an alkyl substituent is present instead of a terminal alkyne, the 
unfavorable interaction between the butyl group and the NAC ligand may destabilize the trans alkyne chelate and may shift the equilibrium towards the cis alkyne chelate which can spontaneously cycloaromatize to the ruthena benzene. Gratifyingly, this type of triene led to the formation of ruthena benzenes in decent yield in presence or absence of the gem dimethyl group. The 13C carbene signals for the ruthena benzene complexes are relatively lower than a typical alkyne chelate due to the delocalization between C1 and C5. Another interesting triene substrate was designed which had the possibility to form a thermodynamically favored ruthena benzene complex or a kinetically favored alkyne chelate and the thermodynamically favored aromatic driven ruthena benzene complex was formed as the exclusive product. Next the reaction profile for ruthena benzene formation via RCM initiation was investigated. We can bring about the variation in the tether by introducing an ionamide linker. This led to the synthesis of a series of ruthena indolines. We can bring out variation in the R substituent by changing from butyl to a phenyl group or change in the ligand by introducing a PCY3 instead of NAC ligand by using Grubbs 1. This complex is 14 electron in ruthenium and has a distorted tetrahedral geometry. To synthesize the usual 16 electron complex with a square pyramid geometry, we introduce some chelating group like a 2 isopropoxy phenyl substituent which can form an oxygen chelate as shown here which is conformed through the extra structures. Other chelated ruthena benzenes involve the acetate and the sulfonamide chelated ruthena benzenes. On shifting the NTS to the middle we can synthesize a series of ruthena isoindolines. Here also we can bring variation in the R substituent by changing from phenyl to ferrocenyl to isopropenyl. The ruthena isobenzofuran on the other hand has lower stability which is indicated in their low isolated yield. In order to bring out flexibility at the C5 carbon we resorted to other modes of initiation. This involves the cross metathesis based initiation which can introduce an alkenyl substituent at C5 position in presence of an external alkene. A relay metathesis based initiation which can introduce alkyl substituent like a methyl group at C5 position or an RCM based initiation on in dienes which is the fundamental structure for the ruthena benzene synthesis. This led to the synthesis of ruthena benzenes in presence of Grubbs 2 and Grubbs 1 respectively. Next we investigated the reaction profile for tetraenes. In case of tetraenes we have a possibility of a metallotropic 1,3 shift which can lead to the formation of various other type of products. Before metallotropic shift there can be usual aromatization leading to the formation of the ruthena benzene. The extent of metallotropic shift depends on the nature of the R substituent. When R is hydrogen there is complete metallotropic shift leading to the formation of this complex in 58% tilt. When trimethyl silyl substituent is present, the metallotropic 1,3 shift can be completely prevented and the corresponding ruthena benzene is formed in excellent yield. When a pyniloxy methyl substituent is present, although the ruthena benzene is formed as the major product, a minor metathesis byproduct is also formed. When a 2 isopropoxy phenyl substituent is present, the ruthena benzene is formed as the exclusive product without the formation of the oxygen chelate. The oxygen chelate might have been formed but due to greater thermodynamic stability of the ruthena benzene complex, the equilibrium might have driven towards the ruthena benzene complex. When we have tetraene with an additional indiene functionality led to the formation of uh, ruthena benzenes before metallotropic 1,3 shift, although there was no detection of ruthena benzenes after metallotropic 1,3 shift. Next mechanism for the cycloaromatization step to form ruthena benzenes were investigated. There are two pathways possible. Path A which involves a chlorine dissociation leading to the formation of intermediate 2. Intermediate 2 involves an alkyne chelation with a cationic ruthenium species. This can undergo nucleometallation quite efficiently leading to the formation of ruthena benzene directly via the transition state 2 which has a 10.9 kcal per mole energy. 
there is another pathway the path B in which there is a cis trans isomerization which put the two chlorine at the trans position with the elongation of the ruthenium chlorine bond due to the trans effect of the NAC ligand. Now this intermediate one prime can undergo the 1,5 chlorine shift but the energy barrier for this process is exceptionally high around 24.2 kcal per mole. This is also reflected in the 3D figure of transition state 1 in which we can see exceptionally long ruthenium chlorine bond lengths. Next the structure activity relationships for the RCM reaction of this ruthenabenzene complexes were studied. All these ruthenabenzene complexes are latent catalysts and work only at higher temperature. The presence of a butyl substituent makes it more reactive than the phenyl substituent. Ruthena isobenzofurans are more reactive than ruthena indolines and isoindolines. And the NAC containing complexes are more reactive than the PCY3 containing ones. Next, some of the most active complexes are selected and their reactivity is compared with the standard metathesis catalyst like the Grubbs 1 and Grubbs 2 at a lower temperature like 45 degrees. But due to their aromatic nature, their reactivity was obviously slower than the standard metathesis catalysts. Certain application of the ruthenabenzene complexes were demonstrated like its activity in the ring rearrangement metathesis reaction in which the corresponding product was isolated in high yield and diastereoselectivity. The result is quite similar to that of Raps 2. This reaction had an added advantage of high catalyst recoverability of 90% while no recoverability was observed in case of Raps 2. Trans hydroboration reaction of 5 decaine was also demonstrated with the ruthenabenzene catalyst forming an alkenyl boronate with high yield and stereoselectivity. Although Grubbs 2 cannot perform this reaction efficiently. Enines participated in an interesting hydrocylylation cyclization reaction in presence of trithylsilane. Although Grubbs 1 and Grubbs second generation complex lead to the formation of normal enine metathesis product. The exceptional catalyst recoverability of the ruthenabenzene complex was demonstrated for this RCM reaction and the catalyst can be recycled over almost 5 cycles and with high conversion at every cycle and good catalyst recoverability. The possible catalytic cycles were studied using DFT calculations. The first possibility is the direct 2 plus 2 cycloaddition between the ruthenabenzene complex and the diene. This has a very high energy barrier of 38.3 kcal per mole and probably not operating. Thus we can say that the catalytic cycle 2 and catalytic cycle 3 is not operating and there is another possibility where the ruthenabenzene complex can undergo cycloreversion to the alkyne chelate. The 2 plus 2 cycloaddition between the alkyne chelate and the 1,3 diene has a lower energy barrier of 21.7 kcal per mole which indicates that the catalytic cycle 1 might be operating. There are experimental evidence like LCMS analysis of the crude reaction mixture detected the presence of the organic byproduct which favored the catalytic cycle 1. Thus we can say that the ruthenabenzene complexes are actually pre-catalyst releasing the open form slowly which is the actual catalyst and this contributes to the high recoverability and the robustness of the ruthenabenzene complex wish to thank Professor Disangli, my advisor, for his support in this project, co-authors Shivan and uh, Yu Zhang, collaborators Professor Peng Liu for DFT calculations and Professor Wink for extra crystallography. We are also grateful to NSF for financial support and mass spectrometry laboratory of UIUC is also acknowledged. Thank you for tuning in for this Research Spotlight episode, and thank you very much to Saswada for coming on to tell us about ruthenabenzenes. If you enjoyed the episode, you can support us by subscribing and telling your peers about this podcast, and feel free to send us any questions or comments you have. Follow us on Twitter to stay up to date, and see you all next time!